cool to see two old folks hug. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? Guys, are you, are you make, making sure you write down some of these happy moments here? You got your happy journal with you, right? Yeah. So, so important, guys. It's going to bless your life the rest of your life. It's like you go back and go, oh my God, I, I, I forgot about that. And you just go right back there. It is, it is amazing. We talk about memories, too. You know, we talk about how volatile our memories are and how our memories can be adjusted by something or someone or some event. And it's weird, too, is, you know, uh, working with people, you know, of course, you know, some of you are at the beginning stages says, oh, my God, I've been really programmed, programmed by my church, programmed by my family, programmed by my friends or culture. And, and then you go, well, well, who will I be if I start taking ownership and changing my own programs? And the cool thing is you can be better off. And secondly, there are yours anyway. But you were just trusted them enough that you thought they knew what they were talking about. And you want to be a good citizen of the family, good citizen of the church, of the environment, wherever you come from. But the question is, are the rules they're giving you, are they very healthy? And one of the things that I do is I look at the group, wherever, whoever it is, and I say, is that the lifestyle I'd like to give my children? You know, if you're using fear and intimidation, guilt, anger, and shame... Would you like for that to grow up into your children or yourself? You know, you have an unpleasant experience of, of whatever happened or, or we have a tendency to watch our parents, you know. We watch our parents and, and we talk about their story, but it's not their story. It's your story. You are your dad. You are your mother. You know, I've, you know, I work with a lot of people, especially when we deal with trauma. We got trauma seminar coming up. Or we say trauma, we say physical abuse, emotional abuse, physical pain. All of those have the same thing, you know. So the weird thing is, is that someone will be, uh, say, abused or yelled at or, or watch dad beat mom or mom beat dad or mom beat your brother or your sister. And yet you watched it. That's you now. Then you're the beater. And you'll either beat yourself up, you belittle yourself, you could, you could um, forget your socks or something, or you could, you could just forgot to turn the light off, and then you beat yourself up and ruin a whole day just with something that you know how to do because you watched your dad do it, or you watched your mom do it, or your group. So we've got to figure out that if we change our stories about our parents, about your relationships, chips, <laughs> you change those you actually change yourself because your brain just goes to school so it's, so when you watch your parents and you watch their life and you see how they acted it's like learning math at school they write the equation on the chalkboard you take it in and then you just use the math that's the same exact example when you see relationships or experiences of your parents it's just an equation on the chalkboard that's all it is is that the equation, is that the life, the style, the behavior you'd like? And if it's not, change it. It doesn't mean you're going to change them. You're just going to change what you do to you inside you and what you're going to do to your children, your wife and your friends and your partners. So if you understand memories are very volatile, there, or you can make them worse. I mean, some of you have perfected the art of misery. Congratulations. At least you got something to do on your spare time. Therapy. <laughs> Been there doing that. Thank you for coming, by the way. <laughs> At least now you can end the crazy cycle and... Peace. And that toughest time is really when you're in the heat of your stuff. That's the toughest time. Toughest time when your partner says, you know, you're triggered. You need a tap on that. You go, right, it's your fault. <laughs> you make me feel bad. Right. Still here. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> it is weird, isn't it? It is so weird how we work. So if you want to heal yourself, relationships is the jackpot. Or your food. Food is relationship too, you know that. Food is relationship. So anyway, memories. We got some more video this morning. We're gonna do some more watch some more stuff about memory, how memory works.